What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out WWE made it look like Jay Uso has quit. Uh, the WWE roster told to step up. Bloodline breaking up, I'm guessing, and other wrestling news. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. We're gonna check this out. Should be interesting. Let's see what they got going on with the whole Bloodline saga. Let's get right into this one. So it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE going all out for Jey Uso quitting, WWE talent have been forced to step up, WWE legend buries the Bloodline story, Nia Jax return feud revealed, CM Punk shoots hard on Adam Page and much more. I did hear about subscribe that. Subscribe and hit I think that notification bell for daily Twitter. wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at WWE going all out for Jey Uso quitting. Our top story today examines the great lengths that WWE are going in order to keep the Jey Uso storyline alive. Yesterday it was reported that Jey Uso was moved to the alumni this. section at WWE.com and now even more developments have surfaced in relation to Jey's so-called WWE exit. Jey was previously advertised for several upcoming editions of SmackDown but Jey has since been removed from these advertisements. He was also initially advertised for the Payback event next month and the Fast Lane event in October. Jay has now been removed from the advertising for Payback, yet his advertisement mm. for Fastlane hasn't been changed. It was rumored that WWE would be booking Jay to take on Jimmy Uso at Payback next month, yet judging from these advertisements, WWE looked to be going in a completely different direction. There have been calls from fans to see the two collide at WrestleMania 40 next April. After all, both members of the Usos have expressed their desire to face off on the grandest stage. Which I'm the all for. The question is, if WWE hold off the Uso vs Uso match until WrestleMania 40, what's going to be the main storyline going over on SmackDown? Roman Reigns isn't currently advertised for the next few premium live events, so WWE urgently need a new storyline to retain sure. fan interest. Would you guys hold off on Jay vs Jimmy until WrestleMania 40? Let us know in the comments down below. Here's the thing. This is, is such a tough one because they've already pulled the trigger on that. They've already pulled the trigger on that. And that's a tough, very, very tough thing to stretch out <laughs> from now. We're still in August. We're not even done with August. All the way to next April, that's tough. So unless you're going to keep Jay out for that long, which I doubt they do, that's a tough, I don't know what you do. That's why it's like, it's one of those things where the portrayal, I just, I think I'm, I'm all down for the, the beef. If they have beef and you set that story up, the story's there between the Usos. It's just the timing. I think it's a little bit, a little bit too early. Now I do like the fact that they, they went the extra mile. He's part of WWE Illuminati. He's not on the roster no more per se. If they really want to commit. And I doubt they do this, but they really want to commit. And I and I I've said this about even when CM Punk quote unquote left WWE at the Money in the Bank with the championship. I would have him actually show up on different shows. Obviously not AEW. Can't have him do that. They're not working with that company like that. But if they were to work with somebody else, another company, or have him show up somewhere else in the independent scenes or something. I think that would add more to the story. Just like, damn, he's wrestling in other places. If they were to do something like that. Because I don't want him to quit. They put him on the alumni roster and then he shows up two weeks from now. No. There has to be a reason why he comes back. So I don't know what they do. It's going to be quite interesting to see how things play out. But the fact that he did quote unquote quit and they're, they're kind of rolling with it. I'm all for it. So I hope they can really extend that. Next up, WWE roster told to step up. Speaking of the landscape of SmackDown, a new report from the Better Wrestling Experience on Twitter indicates that the Bloodline saga is officially taking a breather. The popular news source does add that it's a big test for WWE superstars to step up. WWE have been relying on the Bloodline saga yeah. to attract ratings, but with the storyline being cooled off for a while, now it's time for other wrestlers to shine. Right. WWE appear to be setting up something exciting with Bobby Lashley and the yes. Street Profits and hopefully this angle picks up in the next coming weeks. Yes. They've also started to push LA Knight as he's appearing on both. And I, I like what he said, you know, you know, uh, when Bobby was talking to them on SmackDown, 
he had a little slick line like you know you know we're pretty much the new bloodline we're you know we're the, we're the, the bloodline is kind of you know he didn't directly take shots at the bloodline but he kind of did because he's like we're the new bloodline here so if they start doing something with that since i believe their reports are saying that none of the bloodline members we will, will be on smackdown this week so um this upcoming friday so if anything have these guys start wrecking shop having these guys you know um um montez ford and uh angelo dawkins with bobby lashley have them start wrecking shop on the show could be quite interesting and once again they need to start doing this now because at some point the bloodline story will end so you gotta have some other stories that people are just as invested in and you know they can't rely on the bloodline story right now so and i'm okay with them taking a little break with that because i think they kind of stretched it out as much as they can right now have them take a break with it bring pick it back up later on in the year um but you got to star in L.A. night. You can make some more, more stars with potentially a new faction with Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. Do something there. Let's get the ball rolling, man. With Raw and SmackDown, and is set for a feud with The Miz. WWE are even using a graphic of L.A. Knight to promote ticket sales for an upcoming edition of the Blue Brand, so they may have finally realized that L.A. Knight has slowly but surely become a legitimate draw. Next up, so, the WWE legend buries the bloodline story. During the post-SummerSlam press conference, I think he's Roman talking about Reigns Kurt Angle here. Paul Heyman infamously declared that the Bloodline story is yet to hit its stride, and that the story is only at the bottom of the third inning. No, it's it's way not. No, bro. No, <laughs> we are we're damn near in the seventh, eighth inning. Eighth inning. We probably won't get to the ninth inning until WrestleMania season. No, 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 no. Yes, they have other stories that they can tell, but we're not at the bottom of the third. Relax. I know that's Paul just being Paul. We're not at the bottom of the third. There's no fucking way. <laughs> no, bro. WWE legend and Hall yep, of Famer Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle has called out Heyman for these comments on his podcast, and the former WWE champion didn't hold back his thoughts on the Bloodline saga. The storyline is great. I love it. But I think Heyman was full of shit, he said. <laughs> yeah. They're in the eighth inning, and they're yeah. stressed. They're making shit up now. Uh -huh. That's what I believe. Paul Heyman, I know him, and I know he's probably going crazy right now. What do we do next? Yeah. As expected, Heyman has decided to fire back at Angle's comments in a tweet oh. yesterday, which read, No matter what inning we're in, at least we're not looking for exposure through the next old timers day. And just Whoa. for the record, I typed this tweet with a broken freaking fingernail. <laughs> I didn't know. Paul Heyman's good, bro. Paul's good. <laughs> Paul is so fucking good, bro. <laughs> I didn't know he responded. Well, isn't the only wrestling legend to call out WWE following SummerSlam as former WCW president uh. Eric Bischoff called the main event matchup between Reigns and Jay Uso boring. Taken to his podcast, this was a scathing criticism that Bischoff offered Reigns versus Jay Uso. I just, I was disappointed because my expectations, and part of it might have been, and maybe that's kind of the reaction of the audience, you know, the expectations have been so high for anything Bloodline related mm. because it's been so awesome for so long. This wasn't. This was maintenance. They didn't advance anything in my opinion. Technically it did, on paper it did. Mm. Okay, you can argue that if you want online, if you have nothing else to do with your life, you can debate that. But for me, just in terms of emotion and interest in the reaction, my visual response is, I was bored. I did not enjoy this match at all. Nothing about it made me look forward to Monday Night Raw or SmackDown on Friday night. I was just, I mean, I, I get why people are saying, oh, it feels like it could be 1999, 2000 MWO because it didn't move the needle. It checked a couple of boxes, but it did not move emotional needle whatsoever for me. Mm. Do you guys agree with Eric Bischoff and Kurt Angle? I've heard a few people say that they, they thought the match was boring. I enjoyed the match. I had fun just seeing, for me, seeing Jey Uso give out Roman the beats after all these years was uh quite entertaining the ending still it kind of took me out i wasn't a big fan of the jay jimmy portraying him portraying jay still not a big fan of it but we're, we're here now um so they're you know they obviously got something that works hopefully they're able to you know really capitalize on capitalize on that moving forward with jay quote-unquote quitting so i don't know but i enjoyed the match personally let us know in the comments down below next up nia Jax return feud revealed oh boy there have been rumors circulating that nia Jax could be on her way back to wwe 
Whilst nothing has been confirmed, Jax in a recent interview with WrestleBinge seems to imply that she's coming for current women's champion Rhea Ripley. Mm. Rhea's doing a great job. She's kind of this rise. She might need to be knocked down a couple of pegs. I think she's incredible. She's so talented. I mean, I saw her when she first came up on the main roster. I even saw her in NXT. She's got such a long list of talents she can do. I really enjoy watching her, especially standing up to the guys. I've had a match with Rhea once before and she busted my eye open. So maybe I've got a little payback. I don't know. Oh, I think Lord. we'll have a good dog fight in there. Would you guys oh. like to see Jax versus Ripley? Let us know in the comments. I don't know about payback because it seems like when Nia gets payback, your face get broken. So I don't know. If they were to have a match, I mean, Rhea needs opponents. So if they were to have a match, as long as Rhea goes over, I'm fine with it. <laughs> You're trying to build her like this monster. So as long as she goes over, I'm cool with it. Comments down below. I'm Next up, a trip. surprising name returning to the ring. It looks like British wrestling legend Nigel McGuinness is gearing up for an in-ring return, mm. according to a new report from Fightful Select. Although the report can confirm if McGuinness has been cleared to return, this is great news. Wow. It would be wonderful to see McGuinness back in the squared circle. He last wrestled back in 2011, and he's had a stellar reputation both as a pro wrestler and as a human being. He currently delivers a color commentary for AEW Collision. This is a role in which McGuinness has received rave reviews for. Mm -hmm. It's unknown at present if McGuinness will be pulling double duty and delivering commentary whilst wrestling, so we'll have to wait and see. Very interesting. Next up, Gunther makes history. A congratulations are in order for reigning Intercontinental Champion Gunther. Gunther is now the second longest Intercontinental wow. Champion in WWE history, and he's just under a month to go before he's officially the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of oh, all time. Yep, they definitely Gunther is currently that, in a view with Chad Gable on the Raw brand, and it appears that WWE have every intention of allowing Gunther to break the Honky Tonk Man's historic record. As he should. Next up concerning footage surfaces. A footage on social media surfaced following last oh, yeah, night's play this. event. In the footage, popular star heel Del Vikingo appears to have collapsed and is taken away on a stretcher. It's unclear what exactly happened, but we'll keep you posted on our website yeah. regarding any official updates. I don't think it's a storyline situation. Uh, I think it's actually legitimate. Uh, prayers go out to him. Hopefully he's okay. Um, we've been seeing uh, quite a few athletes passing out, you know, and he is an athlete. You can do this out there doing some amazing stuff that I can't do and most of the average day fan cannot do, so... Wishing him a speedy recovery. Uh, hope everything's okay, you know. Any, anytime you just pass out like that, it's not a good sign, especially if you look like somebody is in great shape. It's not a good sign, so wishing uh, wishing him a speedy recovery, man. And finally, CM Punk shoots Did hard see this on Adam Page. On Twitter. Our final story today takes a look at controversial comments from CM Punk last night after AEW Collision. Since Punk returned to AEW this year, his run has been relatively drama-free, but that was until last night. After last night's collision went off the air, Punk decided to cut a shoot promo on Hangman Adam Page. Hello, North Carolina. Uh -huh. What is this, huh? What is this? Look at this. Carolina is Hangman country. Earlier today, I went to a local uh -huh. supermarket and I figured out why they call him Hangman because the pegs in the toy aisle are full of Hangman action figures. Because nobody wants to buy him. He's a peg warmer, <laughs> unlike me who moves merchandise and pops ratings and sells toys. We got everybody in AUW saying, I'm the heart, I'm the soul, I'm the spirit. Well, that's the objective. What is a fact is that people who say that certainly aren't on the chin of AW because the lights go out faster than what? GTS, go to sleep. Damn. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I got rocked too. I told a house, house of black no chops, and they chopped me. So I'm very mad. Oh, shit. Now, it's unknown <laughs> if this was a scripted promo from Punk, and Punk is in turn planting the seeds for a feud with Adam Page. Nevertheless, Punk's comments are no doubt newsworthy, and it'll be interesting to see if Page has a verbal mm. rebuttal planned. What do you guys think of Punk's comments? Yeah, man, that was quite interesting. Me personally, I, I don't, I don't take it to heart. You know, I've seen some people on on Twitter. See, I tried to ride with Plump, but I can't, man. Look at him. Like, why would he say that? It's like, look, bro. If you don't have, if you don't like somebody or whatnot, whatever the case may be, you can't expect them to say nice things about you. Whether it's on camera or off camera, if they don't like you, they're probably not going to say nice things about you. Now, you can say, why would he say that? Well, you see him punk, and he can kind of do that. Is it right? You can say it's not, but at the end of the day, who's going to stop him? The network wanted him there. That show is really revolving around him. So, if he wants to say something, he probably will. 
it wasn't on television but obviously people have phones and cameras and obviously tony khan didn't trip over it because he i'm sure he knew or not knew but i mean if it was that big of a deal there would probably be some you know some type of punishment but i don't i don't think there is so honestly i wouldn't take it look at it anyway maybe they are setting up something in the future who knows i wouldn't look at it anyway i mean wrestlers have made shoot promos after a show or said stuff live on a show or on an interview plenty of times that's just that's just what it is so i i don't take i don't look too much into it i i don't think anyone else should if you feel some type of way about it let it go bro because at the end of the day these guys are making millions of dollars so it it don't matter honestly it's not hurting the show no one got hurt there was no brawl afterwards it is what it is people are gonna take pot shots at each other that's that's part of the wrestling business and that's just part of the world people are going to take pot shots at you what whether it's justified or not so comment down below let me know um how y'all feel about the whole jay uso quote-unquote quitting wwe how y'all feel about cm punk's remarks what y'all feel about nia Jax potentially wanting to come back to face off with rhea ripley are you guys interested in seeing that and also let me know how y'all felt about the overall match between jay and roman reigns did you enjoy it did you not enjoy it um after you know we've had time to kind of really look back on the match let me know down below all these questions but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace